What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be exploring the most affordable communities in Dubai. Now I'm making this video with the intention for anyone who's looking to move out here. It's a bit of friendly advice because let's be honest, when you're looking online it's hard to find a community that you should consider living. Now we're going to start with the one that we're in right now because you may have heard of it if you've seen anything with Dubai. It's JVC. Jumeirah Village Circle. Now, JVC is actually very centrally located to many areas, such as Business Bay, uh, the marina, right next to Dubai Hills. And to be honest, it's actually got a little less affordable than it was a while ago. But in this area, generally, you can expect to get a rental apartment uh, for a very decent price. Now, when I say affordable, you know, obviously that can depend on people's budget, but what I class as affordable in this day and age is somewhere between 65 to 75 or even up to 80K for a decent one bed. Now, of course, you're gonna be on the slightly lower scale for 65,000 dirhams a year, but then going up to like 75 or 80,000, that's where you can expect a mid-level of luxury. Okay, so JVC, as you can see, is, well, we're in a park right now, yeah? Now, it's not only got a park, but it's also got malls, lots of restaurants, lots of retail. So the area is very, very, uh, let's say the word thriving, okay? Now, there is a lot of construction coming to the area and, you know, a lot of people ask me, well, you know, is there going to be too much on the market over here? And, you know, does it gonna, is it going to affect me if I'm living here? I'll be very honest, the construction, as you can probably hear, is quite annoying in certain areas. So it's very important that you go and do a lot of viewings and you go and see where there's not necessarily a lot of construction. It's not easiest to find, but, the community itself, like I said, is very affordable. Uh, you can have a nice lifestyle here. A lot of the things that you will hear are things like traffic is gonna be pretty bad, but let's be honest, traffic in Dubai now is not that good for anybody wherever you live, okay? So as long as you can structure your day, you know, like I do mine, I go to the gym in the morning, um, and then, you know, after I go to the gym, I go to the office. As long as I go early, I do skip all the traffic. Now, what we're gonna do as well, we're gonna take you to, uh, we're gonna do a little tour, quick, quick tour around JVC so I can kind of show you what the area is about. Uh, and then, of course, you might be wondering, well, I wanna live in the marina and I wanna live in all these other areas that you know people wanna move to generally. But we're gonna explain that throughout the video, so make sure you stay tuned. All right, so to put it into perspective, I actually used to live in this building over here. Now, this building, this is actually Ellington developed, okay? So Ellington, what I would class as the higher developer in JBC. So when you're looking online, you know, you'll always see the Ellingtons that are gonna be priced the most. So I used to rent a one bedroom in there for 75,000 dirhams. Now I think they're about 95, to be honest. So the price has gone up considerably, but that's because the developer quality and the sizes of them are very big. So. You know, you can actually find a lot cheaper apartments in the area as well. You know, Bengati have cheaper products, but generally, you know, the idea about what when you're going to look for these properties is you go there yourself. I look for size, I look for, you know, view from my apartment, and I also look for, you know, amenities in the building. Now, most buildings have gyms, most buildings have pools, but now we're gonna go and show you the mall and give you a bit of an idea and an overview of the area. Like I said, JVC is more like your mid-level, sort of like entry level to get into a good place. Affordable luxury, I like to call it. So let's go and check the rest of the area out. All right, so as I said to you guys, this is the mall. The mall in JVC is actually substantially large. You've got gyms, which is called Wellfit. You've got a Nando's, so if you're from the UK, I'm sure you're gonna be well aware of that. You've got an Irish pub called McCafferty's, which I believe Conor McGregor was actually in last week. So again, to get around this whole area, it's gonna take you maximum like six, seven minutes in the car. You're not gonna walk around the whole of JVC, but again, the mall is a good example of an area that's already well established. And like I said, it's affordable. You know, you can you know very easily live here. I've lived here, I think it's a great area. And again, like centrally located, it's very much that, you know? Although the traffic's bad, this is probably the highlight of the area alongside all of the green parks. It's very dog friendly. So if you've got a dog or you've got children, again, just a nice area to live. You can probably see a lot of construction, but again, like in the next three to four years, this place is gonna be fully developed. And don't forget, there will be a metro. So if it's somewhere you want to invest in, then you will have a metro line going into JVC. All right, so we're gonna move on to the second community now, the Mac Hills. Again, another fantastic community, and I'm sure you'll like it, let's go.
All right, guys, we're in community number two now. One of actually my favorite communities because what it has to offer. The Mac Hills is, you know, they've done an extremely good job of like maintaining such a green community. Uh, you know, you've got, the, obviously you've got the golf course, you've got where we're going to now, which is Malibu Beach, which is just like a little mini sort of beach area. And of course you've got now a mall, you've got a spinnies, you've got a lot going on. And for the prices, which we're gonna discuss shortly, it's an extremely good value for money. Okay, so as I said to you, Dumac Hills is very, very green. And this is one of the things I like about it the most, right? So there's not many communities that can offer this much greenery, especially in the winter season, which we're in now. It's an amazing opportunity to actually be in a community. Now prices, if you actually look over there for some of these apartments, I believe these are Golf Vita, they're a little bit more expensive, but there are actually apartments that are on the market for between 65 to 75,000 for a one bedroom, even cheaper for a studio. And then of course, even for a two bed, you may be looking at like 100 to 110,000 dirhams. Like that's still a good price for a large size two bed, in my opinion, for a community that has this much to offer. Now, predominantly the Mac Hills is a, a golf course community with a lot of villas and townhouses. But if you can get in on an apartment, you know, and get in one of these buildings, you can get a great deal. So, you know what's funny? A lot of people assume that Dubai isn't green and it's all desert, but look at this, right? We're, this to me feels like we're in the UK. <laughs> well, not quite, because obviously it's got much better weather, but you know, it does have that like representation and that's what a lot of these communities can offer. So, like I said, we've got the Trump golf course, you've got dog walking parks, you've got fishing lakes, you've got all sorts, you've got a skate park over there and obviously a very green community. For someone that wants to live here, you might be thinking, well, everyone should live here, right? The only thing again, which can be a bit of an issue to some people is location. It does feel a bit further out. And number two, sometimes in the buildings, the quality of them in a bit of the old buildings that are affordable, it's not amazing. So what I suggest to everyone is that you furnish it well and you decorate it well, and then you've got a good apartment. And personally, I think this is a great community. So this is the Mac Hills. And if you obviously want to go and check it out, I'm sure you can find some rental listings online. But like I said, one of my favorite. All right guys, so we're in the final community now and actually probably the most affordable for, I believe, one of the best quality. Now, this is Imar South. Personally, I've never really explored this area, but after doing some research, these are called Gulf View Apartments. Now these apartments, around 55,000 for a one bed, around 70 to 75 for a two bed, and around 90,000 for a three bed, which is probably most attractive price you could imagine for what actually you get, considering it's an EMAR building, all right? Now, even if you look behind me, at once, I think Dubai South was considered like a desolate area, which it was, it's considered very industrial, but I do believe they are changing that into more of a residential area. As you can see, very green parks. The only thing that I don't like about this location is obviously, the location because it's extremely far away but extremely far away from most things that exist now like in the future this place could potentially boom these are called golf views but there's not actually a golf course there yet but there is going to be a golf course there and of course you can see it's an EMAR community mainly um, with obviously different types of developers building in this area let's just say you decided to get in a townhouse because it's not very affordable to rent a townhouse except in Emar South or Demac Hills too, but I'd much prefer to live here. Um, so like the average price, you're looking around 100K per year for a three bed townhouse, which I mean, you know, if you're a family coming out here or you know, you're a, you're a couple and you've got a dog and you want you know, to live in a townhouse, but you can't afford it anywhere else, this might be a solution. Now, again, if you look on the map, it's extremely far away, but you know, with you know, the Palm Jebel Alley coming in the future, you've also got you know, the whole waterfront coastline, which is just that way, I believe. Um, that might have been accurate, it could have been that way, it could have been that way, but anyway, uh, you know, you've got a lot of future prospects and it also makes this area good for investment. I've never really personally worked in this area that much, but again, like I said to you, these are three investable or even affordable communities to live and rent in. Here are three options. Like I said, this is the most affordable. The Mac Hills has the best community. JVC is probably the best location out of the three. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you learned something, let me know and leave a comment below and I'll answer any questions. And if you want to make an investment in the market, follow the link below and I'll see you on the call when you book one in. And I hope you have a great day. Thank you very much.